Hi everyone, Abby here and I'm really excited right now to show you what Dropmod can do. As you can see on the left side of my screen, we have three options. We could either create an image, create a video, or create a scene. Let's start off with create an image. So creating an image mockup has four simple steps and the first one is choose your template. We have tons and tons of templates on Dropmock. And the amazing thing is we try to update our collection regularly so you could expect brand new designs on a monthly basis. We have a lot of devices, different devices, a variety of prints as well, different signages and different backgrounds and scenes. We have outdoor scenes and indoor scenes as well. For those of you who have t-shirt businesses, we also have t-shirts and we are looking forward to increasing the size of our database. If you are looking for something specific, we also have a search facility up here and you can easily type and look for something that you want. So let's try and use this sign, this sign on this majestic building, okay? Now the second step is to upload your content. We have made it easier for you, so we've indicated the required size for every image mockup. You see image mockups come in different sizes and of course it will differ um, accordingly if it's portrait or landscape or if it's thin or you know, wider, it depends on the image as well. But no worries, if you do not have the exact size, it's okay because we have a cropping tool ready for your use. So let's try it out and upload an image. We have different options as well. We can upload, we could grab an image from a URL, or if you have a Usign account, we could also grab images from there. So for this demo, let's upload an image. Let's try this training sample that we have here. And as you can see, we have the cropping tool here. It's very easy because all you have to do is drag an anchor point and make sure that the area that needs to be shown on the mock-up will be covered by the selection. Once you're happy with it, click Crop and Create Image. And just like that, our image is now on this image mock-up. It's very easy to put a training or webinar announcements on a building and you could, you could also effortlessly offer um, advertisement designs to clients with, the, with, this, with this very easy to use software. So once you're happy with how it looks, uh, we could go to edit image, which is the next step, or you could click again here and upload another image. So I'm happy with this. Let's go to the third step. Now we have to choose which size to use for editing. So of course, it, it just depends on your preference and on your goal. If you have, if you only need a small image, for example, for thumbnails or small images on a website then go for the standard option, or if you need to get it printed, or you're selling it, of course, clients would expect a high resolution um, picture, then go for the HD. So for this demo, let's just go with the standard one and let's wait for the image editor to load. So we have a lot of tools here. We could enhance the image. We, we can add effects and frames and such. Um, we could draw on it and add text even. You could erase blemishes on models if you'd like. Um, maybe we could add a frame. Let's see what we can do. We, you could add a simple classic black or white one and click apply. We could add different effects, color effects, which is pretty cool. Okay. And then you could even crop or resize or change orientation. This is another awesome feature, which is focus. So you could select if you want a circular one or a rectangular focus area, and then just click this circle to enlarge. And now you could, you could blur the whole thing except your content, which is nice. You know, it's really eye-catching. And then click apply once you're happy. 
after that, if you're done with, with editing your image, uh, you could click save, or if you want to change something, you could go back and click undo and redo. And you can even zoom in and out to see the details on your picture. Okay. So for this, I think let's just go with the original one. Okay. Let's close that and let's go to the final step. The final step, of course, is exporting your image. And first off, you have the option to save it to my drive. So my drive is a cloud based storage that is incorporated in Dropbox. And I suggest that you save it every time because it's very easy to access and re download images if, for example, you lose one of it accidentally. So let's, let's um, check that box. And then again, choose which size you'd like. And it will render the image for you ready for download. So as you can see, our image is now ready. And you can click here to download and save it automatically to your PC right there. After that, you can go back to the gallery and repeat the same process and create lots of image mockups. Okay. So the next one is create a video. So create a video is somewhat similar to create an image. We have four steps as well. And the first one is choose your template. We have a lot of videos as well here, and we try to cater to as much industry as we can. And we will update this regularly as well. As you can see, we have holiday themes, we have sports, we have, of course, offices and corporates. Uh, we have people at home just casually using their devices. And we also have projections, which is um, where you could see the screen beside the models. Okay, that's pretty useful as well. So we have people outdoors and indoors going camping. We have kids. Okay, so let's try. Um, what can we try? Oh, we have a search facility as well. Let's try that out. Okay, so a simple search of a computer. And let's see what's going to show up. Okay, and maybe let's select the first one for this demo. Now, before we proceed with step two, we are still um, choosing, choosing our video. And we could preview the selected template. So as you can see, she's typing and we can preview where our content will show up. Okay, so that's where it's going to show. And if you're happy with that, you could go to step two or go back to templates and look for another mock-up. Okay, so I think I'm good with this. So let's try to upload one. Now, the first thing is um, we now have an option to keep or not to keep the audio of your uploaded video. So for this, uh, the video I'm going to upload does not have audio. So I'm going to unclick that. And before you upload an audio, uh, sorry, a video, just make sure that you meet the requirements, which is the ratio. Um, the file size should be below 50 MB and it should be in the right format. And hopefully the video is less than a minute. Okay, so let's upload a video. Okay, let's try this one. And let's wait for it to load. So we have the cropping tool again here. And all you need to do is drag an anchor point and make sure that the area that you want to show up in the mockup will be covered by the selection. After that, let's crop and create video. Okay, so now our cropped video should now show up on the mockup. Let's try to preview it again. And let's see how it's going to show up. Okay. Let us see. And there you go. Okay. And it's very easy. It's very realistic, right? Right. That's, that's good. And once you're happy with it, you could now add an audio. Okay. Let's go.
Now you could upload your own audio file as long as it's below 10 MB in MP3 format and below 90 seconds, okay? Or else you could choose one of the music available here in our collection. Let's just, um, let's try Bounce Original. Oh, also, you could click one, select one, of course, and click the play button to preview how it sounds. So let's use Bounce, and then the final step is export your video. So again, you have the option to save this video to my drive, and I highly suggest that you do, because it doesn't cost you anything, and it's very, it makes your mock-ups very accessible and um, well you know it's an extra extra secu security feature if ever you lose one of those so let's add that and then you could download it um, depending on the size that you want a standard video or, or an HD video so let's go with standard okay so now we can again preview our final video. And if you have connected a YouTube account, you can directly upload it there, or you could press download and save it auto automatically to your PC. After that, you can go back to the gallery and repeat the process and create another video mockup. Um, after that, let's go to create scene. So create scene is basically a composition of a lot of elements and objects that you could easily drag and drop to create a scene. So for example, under desks, um, you could click this and it will load up onto the canvas. And by dragging an anchor point, you could resize it. And I recommend that you only drag it by the corners because if you drag it on the side, it's okay, but your, um, you know, some objects are not really good when it's distorted. Okay, so let's drag it by the, by the corners and let's make that bigger. And then you'll notice, you'll notice we have a few buttons here. So you could delete it if you want. You could move it upward or upmost, topmost. You could move it um, a little downward or bottommost. So you'll understand how this works if you've worked with layers before. So for example, you want it to move backwards or forwards. Um, let's try first uh, to add more objects. So let's see what else is here. So we have also screens, which is, this is my favorite part. So we have a lot of screens available here, sorry. Um, we have laptops in different angles. We also have desktops. Let's try this one. And then let's resize that. Okay. So if, for example, you you have put this first and then the desk afterward, you could just easily press the bot the button here and move it upward so it will show up above the desk rather than below it or um, behind it okay so the screens here work like the image mockups we also have um, phones as well that's good uh, they work like image mockups in a sense that you could add an image within the screens so let's try let's try a website and let's crop Let's crop it a bit. Okay. Mm, okay, there. Let's crop and create an image. And hopefully it will show up on the desktop. Let's see. Okay, there you go. Let's move it back. That's good. And then let us add a few more things so that it will look more interesting. Let's add an, a clock maybe. And let's resize that as well. It's very easy to make a scene here. Right? Okay. <laughs> uh, let's add what else? Let's see what are the items here. 
what can we use here okay oh we have decorations so just random decorations for your desk as well mm, what else we could add a chair we could add accessories yes we need an accessory let's move that and let's add a keyboard okay i think that's good and maybe a book yes an open book okay so let's drag that here make it a little bit smaller okay and lastly let's change the background oh we could also add text if you want okay let's change the background maybe to something like this and after that once you're happy with it we could export the scene and it will save automatically onto your pc as well let's view that let's just see okay that looks good okay so that's it that is drop mock for you thank you and i hope you enjoy